Hey you guys, um, I'm not really doing anything right now, I was just watching a movie, but I've been laying here thinking about how it's 2016 now, and I just feel so overwhelmingly blessed right now with um, everything that's gone on in 2015, finishing up school, um, starting to get it together, uh, figure out my plan for my life, getting engaged. It seems like getting to see my family that I hadn't seen in years, it seems like like we we had such a good year and I hope it continues in 2016. I'm just in a really good place right now. And I really, really love that man, y'all. Y'all don't understand. I really do. Jasmine wanted to get in. She's always scratching on the door, interrupting me. But, um, yeah, I really, really love him. He's so special to me. And he's really changed my life, honestly, because before I had him, I was just dating all the wrong people. Um, I don't think I ever talked to you guys about anything about my exes. Uh, one in particular that I dated right before I was with Uriel and there was like a period of time where I wasn't dating anybody. Like after I broke up with this person, I stopped dating completely because I realized in, in order for me to be able to find someone right for me, I had to stop and really evaluate what I was doing. Like I kind of talked to people here and there, but I wasn't really in search of anything serious for a while because I realized that I had been with this person who was 15 years my senior, had no business being with him in the first place, and on top of that, he was mentally and right on the verge of being physically abusive because he was always threatening me, and I'm like, this isn't healthy. And that relationship only lasted for three months. And, like, still to this day, like, the other night, I still have times where I feel like, oh, my gosh, like, what would happen if he ever found me? Or, like, I have this fear, like, he's going to do something to me. And Uriel will calm me down, and he'll be like, babe, God, ha God has you. He will protect you. Don't worry about any of that. And I'm not going to let anything happen to you. So that brings comfort to me. But... It, like, really opened my eyes to, like, how I was living my life. And I had to make a lot of changes because I couldn't sit there and be like, oh, I'm just going to keep dating these guys that are, one, either emotionally abusive, cheaters, uh, they don't pay any attention to me, thuggish, any of that stuff because it's not worth it. And... For any of you that are in that situation where you're with somebody like that, get out because you are worth so much more than that. You are worth so much more than that. It's not even worth it. I promise you that you can do better because I didn't even realize what I deserved. And then when I met Yuri, I was in shock because of how he treated me because nobody else had put that much effort into making me happy. Nobody else was such a gentleman to me. And that's crazy that... It took me so long to realize that, but now that I have that, I can't go back. <laughs> That's the good thing. Like, if, God forbid, anything happened between us, but it's not, because you see this, we, we, we sticking it in the long haul, but I'm speaking, um, like, the, me, like, not metaphorically, but anyway, um, if anything, God forbid, were to happen to us, and I had to find somebody all over again. I wouldn't go through the stuff that I went through before because now I know better. You understand? Like, now I know better. Now I know what I shouldn't do, what I should do. So it's all good. Nobody can treat me the way that I was treated when I was younger because now I've seen what it's like to be treated the right way. So I don't know even, I don't even know how I got on the subject. But I hope that that does help somebody because I kind of had to learn the hard way. And it's not like I didn't have my family. Like, 
I had my dad, like, my dad's always been in my life, but he's always lived in a different state. So I feel like a lot of the mistakes I made were because of that, because I wasn't able to physically see my dad a lot of the time, that I was searching for a certain male attention, and I found, I was trying to find it in all the wrong places. And then with my mom and my grandma, like, they loved me, and they really worked hard to take care of us, but I don't even think they really knew how to talk to me about that kind of stuff. So I kind of just had to learn on my own the hard way, and I kind of learned the hard way over and over again until it finally sunk in, and I'm like, wait, this isn't right. I shouldn't have to deal with this anymore, and how do I keep ending up in these kind of relationships? So I took a step back and had to really find myself and figure out what I needed and really pay attention to the signs of what I shouldn't try to have in a man. But anyway, y'all, this video is going to be really long. I'm like rambling, so I'm going to cut it off here. And I hope that you guys had a blessed New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Um, and really, that's all. So, bye, you guys.